Today is Monday, October 30th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Sumai Gamachu. The gunman in the mass shooting that killed 18 people last week in Maine was found dead on Friday. Robert Card died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound, but it was unclear when. Authorities recovered a multitude of weapons during their search for Card and believe he had legally purchased his guns. Investigators are still searching for a motive for the massacre, but have increasingly been focused on Carr's mental health history. State Department of Public Safety Commissioner, Commissioner Michael Shawshak said Card was hearing voices and had paranoia. Last summer, Card underwent a mental health evaluation after he had been, end quote, hearing voices and threats to shoot up, end quote, a military base. Major corporations in water guzzling industries such as clothing, food, beverage, and technology want to be better stewards of the fresh water they use, especially as drought, food, and other extreme weather intensified by climate change threaten their supply chains. But of the 72 companies recently ranked by a sustainability nonprofit, few are close to achieve their 2030 goals. For the second Halloween in a row, U.S. candy inflation hit double digits, candy and gum prices up an average of 13% this month, compared to last October more than double the 6% increase in all grocery prices. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Sumai Gamachu.